Oftentimes when I scrutinize Jack and Jill competitions, I have to watch for what dancers are doing well in the moment on, a, on an objective level. And I also have to watch for those subjective qualities I value that have a lasting impact. One of those subjective qualities for me is the idea of style. Style is one of the most valuable qualities to me because it allows the audience to see a dancer's unique way of doing the art. Newer dancers on the scene sometimes have an identity crisis in the process of developing their skills. The sad thing to me is seeing how so many dancers are unaware that the thing that makes them unique is often the thing they end up changing while trying to improve their technique. Sometimes they model their style after popular dancers who are big influencers and end up becoming a mini version of them. I think it's difficult for dancers to know the difference because sometimes they confuse what is necessary with those things that are considered to be a matter of preference. Once a dancer understands what makes the dance work on a more fundamental level, they eventually realize how subjective most of swing dancing is. But by that time, many have already kind of lost who they are as individual artists. My hope is that the newer dancers in this clip don't lose themselves too much in the growth process. So before we take a look, don't forget to check out the benefits of becoming a Street Smart Swing member. You get access to the Lindy Hop Blueprint, which is my success system that helps dancers really understand the core principles that make Lindy Hop work fundamentally. Once you can grasp what master dancers understand, you will be able to grasp the principles of Lindy Hop at your current level which will ultimately put you in the driver's seat to fix your own dancing without always having to need a teacher. Members of the Street Smart Swing community also receive personalized feedback on their social dancing. They will also receive 24-hour access to all classes posted each week. So check out the benefits in the description below. Okay, I'm going to give you guys my analysis on my favorite couple and why right after this.
that was really fun. Oh, overall, the couple I really enjoyed was Martina and Martina. When they came out, it felt very familiar, like most intros, but then at a point I could feel their essence whenever they were doing swing outs. Martina has so much joy. There's a just a silkiness to her movement, while Martino has an upright position that is less popular and has a, like a, a tremendous amount of control when he does the fancy footwork sequence during the swing out. That was the real standout to me. During their second set, they came out with more swing outs and then showed me a glimpse of where they're at technically right now, which is really just another area I think they can continue to improve upon. But ultimately, I'm showing another fancy footwork moment that elevated Martino as someone I will keep an eye out on in the future in terms of style. Overall, this was my favorite couple, regardless of where they were on a technical standpoint, because that's not what I was looking for. To me, they were truly unique. What do you think? Let me know who your favorite was in the comments section below. If I don't see your comment below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.